In this video, I'm going to cover how to use the ABCs with Ace and Christy manuals for the first 12 weeks of first grade. You're going to use these manuals along with the first 12 word building paces and the first three math paces over the first 12 weeks of first grade. After you complete the first 12 weeks, you will do the 12 English, Science, Social Studies, and remaining nine math paces over the following three quarters of the, or two thirds of the school year. Here we have a list of the sections for each lesson. Each lesson is relatively the same. The fourth lesson of the week is a little different because it is a review lesson. Once you get used to the order of the lessons, it's really pretty easy and it's not nearly as overwhelming. As you can see, there's opening activities, listening to the alphabet song, review of the previously learned letters, meet a new animal, listen to, say, and sing the cartoon animal song, listen and watch the animal story, master the letter, listen to the sounds and words, blending the sounds and words, forming the letter, writing the letter, individualized pace work, library time, character training, which is the Bible story, physical development, and then other activities. Here we will look at the Buffalo lesson for an example of how to go through the manual. The first item here is opening activities. Opening activities typically consists of a quick prayer and saying pledges. Next, you will listen to and sing the alphabet song. This comes on the CDs that come with the curriculum or you can use the YouTube videos available to listen to the alphabet song. Next is reviewing the previously learned letter. You will show the letter card, and then you will repeat the A reads, A, 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 for example, A reads, A, 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 followed by singing the cartoon song. Now, if you want, you can use the sound videos for this, the sound and song videos on YouTube for this section as well. Next is meet the new animal. This is a short paragraph about the animal that you will be learning about that day. You just read the student the part in bold. In the lesson video, this section is covered, so you would be able to skip this if you're using the lesson videos. Next is listening to and singing the cartoon animal song. The words and the lyrics are in this manual, so if you're musically inclined, you would be able to sing and play the song. Otherwise, you can listen to the CED or the songs on the YouTube videos. Next is listen and watch. You will use the animal science paces, which have the visuals, the pictures for the animal story. And you will read the animal story, which is listed in the manuals and also in the animal science paces. Alternately, you could watch the lesson video on YouTube, which will read the story and show the images to your student instead of you reading it to them yourselves. Whatever works best for you and your student. Next is Master the Letter. Again, just going through the animal cards, the flash cards that come with the, with the kit and going through and drilling Buffalo reads ba ba ba, B reads ba ba ba. If your student does all right with just watching the videos, you could just go and have them watch the videos again, or if they're picking it up, if they've already done kindergarten with Ace and Christy, they may already have this down pretty well. 
Next is listening to the sounds and the words. So you will read a word to your student and ask them if they can hear the sound. In this case, it would be the b sound. You would say band. Can you hear the b sound in band? And they would answer yes or no. And then you would continue on with the rest of the words. These words are in the video, the first 10 of them. It, the videos do not have all of them. So if you feel your student needs more practice, you should take out the manuals and work some extra with them on, on these items. Also with the sentences, you read them the sentence and then they have to find if the word is in that sentence or not. The videos have the first five, or not always the first five, but five of the sentences. There are more in the manuals in case you need more practice on those, or if you would like to read the sentences or the words to your student yourself. That is section eight. Section nine is blending sounds and words. So you would write these, these letters and the signs on a chalkboard or a poster board, and you would ask the student to blend them for you and to sound them out. These are also in the videos. Some students may need more one-on-one -on -one practice and may want a more hands-on approach, such as writing them on the board or using magnets and put them on a magnet board and drawing the symbol above it. Next part of this section is blending the sounds into words. So you would write these words on a board or again you could use magnets or a piece of paper and they would blend them for you. A lot of these words are in the videos. The videos don't always have all of the words and you can kind of see how your student is doing if they need the extra practice or not and if you and your student prefer to work on these together or just having them watch the lesson video. That is section nine, blending sounds and words. Section 10 is forming the letter. So your kit should have come with these tactile and kinetic cards, T and K cards, and you will use these to trace the letters. So they can trace the letters with their fingers, following the proper order for forming the letters to get used to the shape. You can also have them trace the letters in the air and use their arms to make it or their fingers to trace it in the air. Next section, section 11, is writing the letter. At the beginning of the manual, there is a large piece of lined paper that you will want to have several copies of. And the student will write the letter on that paper. It says it should be at least six inches high. That way the student gets used to writing it larger and then working down from there. That's section 11. Section 12 is individualized pace work. So in the beginning, you may need to go through the pages with your students and direct them on how to work through them. After the first few days or few weeks, the students will get used to the rhythm of the paces and how they work. Each lesson is very similar, so they can normally work through it on their own. Here at the end of that section, it says what pages they should be doing. In this case, we're building pages one through eight and math pace, one, um, pace 101, pages 16 to 18. So it tells you exactly what they should do. Also, it gives you animal science pages that they can do um, as time allows if you have those paces. With my daughter, what we typically do is when she gets to the point where she's ready to do her pace work, I'll sit down and I'll do a quick review with her and I'll say, okay, this page you trace the letters, this page you write the letters, this page you circle the pictures with the correct sound and something like that. And it's normally a quick two minute overview. She pretty much knows what to do now, but just so that I have an idea if there's any pages that are a little different, um, what she needs to do. And then when she's done working the pages, she brings me the pace and we go through anything she needs to change together. And then there is a section that the student reads you words. So she will read those to me at that time. 
and we will circle the pages that she has correct. Here there's a note about the primary goal card. So typically you want your student to fill out the goal card with the pages that they will be doing for the day. That way they can mark it off and it gets them in a good habit for when they're in older grades. And it makes them feel good because they've accomplished something and can check something off. Also a side note, sometimes the lesson will have you do the T and K cards for a letter also. Like in this case, they're learning the letter five in this lesson. So they will use it for the B letter and then number five in this lesson. Next, we have section 13, which is library time. That I feel is geared more towards um, school setup. And what you would do is when students finish their pace work and it's all checked off, they can go have some library time um, looking at books, possibly playing with some puzzles while you wait for the rest of the students to finish their work. In a homeschool setting, you might use this a little bit differently. We typically wait till we're completely done and then she has her free time or her time to play with educational games. Section 14 is character training. For that section, you have the Bible reading pace, which has the images for the Bible story. And then you will either use the manual or the, the Bible story is also in the Bible reading pace to read the child the story and practice the memory verse. I did not scan in the pages of the complete. The next page in this um, manual would have been the complete Bible story, but that's pretty boring to look at in this context. Um, so you would just read them the Bible story. Also, the Bible story is in the lesson videos on YouTube. So if you're choosing to use those, the video will read the Bible story to them and go over the memory verse, but you also may want to repeat the memory verse one-on-one -on -one with your student more. Last two sections are physical development. Again, this is geared oftentimes towards a group of students in a school. Some of the games they have in here don't work if you only have one or two children that you're homeschooling and you don't have a group. So you can do these activities or skip them depending on how you, how the activities work for you and your student. Next is the other activities. And this is typically some type of review game, or in this case, you're cutting out some pictures and then they have to find the ones that have the buh sound. So, you can do this if you have time. A lot of times we end up skipping that because we normally run out of time because I'm working with my other, with my older girls. So those are the sections. So typically if you're using the videos to fill in as much of it as you can to give you more time with your, with your other students, you would do opening activities with them and then you would put them to watch the videos for the alphabet and songs. The Meet the New Animal is also in the lesson videos. The cartoon animal songs are in the videos. The Animal Story, Master the Letter, parts of the Listen to Sounds and Words and Blending Sounds and Words are also in the video. Then you would work with them on forming the letter and writing the letter sections. The individualized pace work, that would be with the teacher involvement or possibly independent, depending on how your student is doing. Library time would be independent for the student. And then character training would be in, with the video. And then physical development and other activities would need to have the teacher involved. So you can mix and match any of this. Obviously, if you feel more comfortable reading certain things to your child or working with them individually, then go ahead and work with that out of the manuals. And you can do other parts with the video, or you can do everything out of the manual if that's the way your student learns best. It's up to you. I've just provided the videos because my I made them primarily for my 
children because they do better if they're watching something on a video instead of me reading it to them. So here's our routine, what I do with my students who have gone through this. We do prayer and pledges, and then the student watches the sound videos. It may be one video if they've just started, or it may be several if they are already on to new videos. The sound videos, there's six sounds per video um, on YouTube, and you can add in a new one each time. And then if they get to the point where the first one is getting boring, they, they know it now, and it's getting to be kind of long, you can start dropping ones that they've been doing for a while. Next, they watch the lesson video, whatever lesson it is for the day. And that covers, like I said, the meet the animal, the Bible story, the animal story, the memory verse, and the blending the words and sounds. Next, we do the T and K cards together, and I just have them trace the cards with their fingers and make the letter in the air. And then they do their word building pages, and then they bring it to me when it's done. And they read me the words that they're supposed to on the one to three pages of words that they read to you in the word building. And then they do their math pages, and that's pretty much it for the day. So I hope this gives you a better idea of how to use the manuals. Um, and how you can incorporate the videos if you want to, or how you can just stick with the manuals if that's what works best for you. And I promise you, once you go through a lesson or two, it's not as intimidating as it seems, and you'll get in a rhythm. And like I said, we're in week seven, and it's super easy, and we fly through all of the work in probably an hour to hour and a half, depending on how long it takes her. Math is normally the, our slow point. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, drop them below and I'll try and answer them or possibly make follow-up videos to help answer any questions you have.